Google's new Gemini 3 just destroyed all the popular vibe coding apps like Lovable. Or at least that's what many people are saying. That's why in this video I'm going to put this claim to the test. By running 4 real world coding tests and comparing the results that I get from Gemini 3 to the results I get from Lovable. So by the end of this video I can give you a clear and definitive answer to which one is better. So if that's as interesting, let's get started. Alright, so as I said before, we're going to conduct four different tests when it comes to building apps. And the first test that we're going to conduct is going to be the simple prompt test. So what we're going to do in this test is we're going to write a very vague prompt in both Lovable and Gemini 3 in order for us to be able to see how the AI is going to go and fill in the gaps. So what I'm going to do is I will go over to Google AI Studio and then I will type in this prompt where I'm basically saying build me a color tracking app where the user will be able to upload an image of his food and then the app will analyze that image and tell him how many calories are inside it. Make the interface look modern and dark with purple colors. And what I'm going to do is I will basically type the exact same prompt over to Lovable as well. And as you can see, they are both currently working and they are building an app for us. Now Lovable did ask us to give it access to the cloud. So I will simply click on allow and I'm going to let it design the full app. And boom, as you can see, Gemini 3 was the first one that finished creating the app. And it's asking me to allow access to my camera. So I will simply come over here and click on allow. And then what I can do is come over here and upload an image of my food, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. I will simply upload an image of my food. And as you can see, it is currently analyzing it. And it gave us this analysis where it tells us exactly how many calories that are inside it, how many proteins, how many carbs, and how many fats. It also gives us the health score over here, a bunch of more information. And honestly, I do think this interface does look very good, especially for an app that was built with such a vague prompt. And now, if I come back over to Lovable, we can see that it also finished creating the front end interface. As you can see, it does look very similar to the one that Gemini 3 created. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, I do think the interface of Gemini 3 is a little bit cleaner, but when we will really be able to see the difference, is when we actually upload the same image of our food and we click on analyze food. As you can see, it is currently analyzing it and it gave us this nutrition analysis section where it tells us the calories, how many proteins there are, how many carbs and how many fats along with a very small food description over here. And I think it is very obvious which one managed to create the best interface. And it clearly is Gemini 3. Take a look at this interface. It honestly doesn't even look AI generated. It looks super clean and it looks like it was actually designed by a professional designer. While the lovable interface is still not terrible, but definitely looks AI generated and it just doesn't have a lot of the things and information that the Gemini 3 interface had. So when it comes to the battle between these two, I think the clear winner for this one is Gemini 3, specifically for the simple prompts. But now it's time to go and perform test number two, which is none other than complex prompts. Because sure, while leaving our prompt very, very vague, Gemini did manage to create a way better looking app. But if we specifically tell the AI exactly how we wanted to go and create the app, will we see any difference? Will Lovable be any better than Gemini? Well, it's time we go and we find out. So how I'm going to create my digital prompt is by going over to ChatGPT and telling it something like, give me a prompt that I can give to an AI app builder that will create me a dental assistant app. Make the prompt very detailed and make sure the interface looks modern. And then I'll simply come over here and click on enter. So now ChatGPT is going to go and write us a very long prompt with very specific instructions of exactly how the app should look like. And boom, ChatGPT finished writing the prompt. So all I'm going to do is I will simply come over here and copy all of it exactly as it is. And I think you guys can see this is a super long prompt. So I will make sure I copy it. And then I will come back over to Google AI Studio, simply paste the super long prompt inside and I will come over here and click on build and I will do the exact same thing with Lovable. I will simply come over here, paste in the same exact prompt and I will come over here and click on enter. And now all we have to do is to wait and see which one is going to finish first. But while they are both building our app, I do want to point one thing out and that is that Gemini 3, at least at the time of this recording, definitely has an advantage over Lovable 
and that advantage is that it's completely free to use, since it's a Google product and Google basically allows you to use it as much as you want from inside Google AI Studio, while Lovable gives you 10 free credits, which are basically 10 free messages, and then if you want to use it more, you have to upgrade to a paid plan, which starts at $20 per month. So Obviously, there is a significantly higher cost with using Lovable rather than using Gemini 3. And I do think that is an important thing that needs to be taken into account when I'm creating the review. And boom, as you can see, Gemini 3 just finished creating the app. And if I actually alt tab, you can see that Lovable is still building it. So since in this example, and in the previous example, Gemini 3 was the fastest model, it would be safe to assume that it just builds apps faster than Lovable. And as you can see, the first thing that we have to do over here is sign in to our account, which I'm going to do by clicking on sign in. And then we have this interface over here, which I do gotta admit does look very good. I guess you can see this is basically a CRM that a dental clinic owner can use. Over here we have the appointments for today, our total patients, our pending tasks, and our overdue recalls, and also all of today's appointments. Here we also have tasks which we can mark as done by clicking on them. And if I navigate over in the other tabs, we can see that they do have some information while they're not fully functioning yet, because if I come over here and click on add patient, for example, nothing actually happens. And I would assume the same exact thing with the appointments and the treatments, etc. But we also do have this very nice analytics section over here, which if I'm gonna be honest, does look very clean. So overall, a very positive review. The only negative thing I have to say about it is that it didn't actually create fully functioning sections since the appointment section over here doesn't actually work and neither the patient section doesn't work since when I click on that patient, nothing happens. But it's obviously very easily fixable just by coming over here and typing one simple prompt, basically telling it to fix that issue. And while we have fully reviewed Gemini's app, Lovable is still building this current app, which means that there actually is a pretty big difference in the speed of Gemini and the speed of Lovable. But don't worry because it should be done in a bit. And boom, Lovable just finished as well. And I would say it took it an extra one and a half minute. But as you can see, we have a similar sign up section where the user can either sign in or sign up for a completely free account. So let me actually come over here and sign up for an account. And now that I have inputted all of my information, I will simply come over here and click on create account. And boom, as you can see, our account was created and we have access to this interface over here. Now, from the looks of it, I would say that the Gemini interface does look better than this just wire looking interface. But as you can see, we do have similar sections. We have today's appointments, new patients and completed tasks. Let's see, are they functioning? When I click on the plus icon over here, they're not actually functioning. And if I navigate over in the patient section, I would assume it's the same thing. Yeah, they're basically not functioning as well. And this page just gave us a 404 error. So let me click on the return to home. And it's the same exact thing with the tasks. So as you can see, this interface isn't even as good looking as the one that we managed to build with Gemini 3. And it also has more bugs and errors than the one that we built with Gemini 3 as well. Which means that the winner of the complex prompt test will actually be Gemini again. So Gemini has won both of the first two tests, but we still have two more to go. And the third test that we're going to do is going to be none other than the connection functions. And what do I mean by that is all the different tools and services that we can connect inside our apps with Gemini and also with Lovable. Now with Gemini, what we can do is give our app access to an AI voice. And all we have to do to do that is simply come over here and say something like, hey, I want to implement an AI assistant inside my app. This AI assistant should be an AI voice assistant. And the user should be able to access it by clicking on a button at the bottom right of the screen. And then we can simply come over here and click on enter and boom as you can see Gemini just made those changes and now it is asking me to get access to my microphone so I will simply allow it and I also have to wait a little bit till it's fully done generating all the code since it actually didn't finish before since if you want to enable AI voice you can either type it in to the prompt box of this app or you can go back over in your Google AI Studio, simply select the create conversational voice app and then all you have to do is to describe exactly what brand new app you want to create. Let's say for example we want to create a voice agent for a lawyer, I would simply come over here and say hey I want to create a voice agent for a lawyer and then we would click on build and all we have to do is to wait a few seconds till Gemini generates the app. As you can see I just simply have to allow it access to my mic and then I can click over here and talk 
with that AI. So I could say, hello. It sounds like you are understanding how to initiate a conversation with an AI. And as you can see, the AI is able to talk to us, which is a thing that you cannot actually do with Lovable since it doesn't have an AI voice integrated inside it, which means that if you wanted to use AI voice in your Lovable app, the process you would have to follow would be significantly more complex. You would probably have to connect it over to NTN, which you would then have to connect over to an AI voice platform like Vapi, which is a process that would actually take you a lot of time and you would also need some technical knowledge in order for you to do that. While with Gemini, you basically have the AI voice integrated from the ground up, but Lovable also has an advantage that Gemini 3 doesn't have, which is that they make it super easy to create a well-functioning backend where you can store all of your user's information. Because what you have to do with Lovable is simply come over here and click on this cloud icon on the top of the screen and then you simply have to enable the cloud and then this interface pops up where you can basically see the full backend of your app. You can see an overview of it, your database, all of your users, your storage, your edge functions, your secret keys, your logs, basically everything that you need in order to have a fully functioning backend, which you can do just by clicking on this cloud icon and clicking on a button that's called enabled, which is honestly super easy to do. Well, if you wanted to do the same thing with Gemini 3, you would actually have to come over here, deploy your app in a Google project, which means you would also have to go create the Google project, set up your billing, and then from there, you would need to take some more steps in order for you to create a functioning backend. So Lovable definitely has the advantage to building a very easy backend, but Google AI Studio also has all of these other functions over here. They have Nano Banana integrated inside their app, which means that you can basically type a prompt and be able to generate images, which is something that Lovable doesn't have. Then you can also use VO3, which basically means that you can also generate videos within your app. You can also use Google Search data, you can use Google Maps data, and a bunch of other more features as you can see over here. You can also transcribe audio, generate speech, and a bunch of other more features. Which while Lovable's easy backend creation is a very compelling argument, I don't think it can override all of these extra features that using Gemini 3 gives you access to. That's why for the third test as well, I have to give this over to Gemini 3 since I do think it has by far the most connection functions and that brings us on perfectly to our fourth and final test which is going to be none other than game development and believe it or not guys many people actually use these AI app builders to build 2D and 3D games mainly as demos but also sometimes in order for them to ship them as a full custom app so that is exactly why we're going to test both of these AIs in now for the prompt I will type create a simple 2D browser game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript where a spaceship is controlled with the left and right arrow keys and shoots lasers when the spacebar is pressed. Asteroids fall from the screen towards the player, the lasers must destroy the asteroid on collisions. If an asteroid hits the spaceship, the player loses. This is basically a spaceship game. And what I'm going to do is I will simply come over here and click on build. And while Gemini is building this game for us, I will also switch over to Lovable pasting the exact same prompt and I will simply come over here and click on enter. So Lovable also starts creating this game for us. And boom, both Gemini and Lovable just finished generating the games. And I would say Gemini finished slightly faster, but not with a big difference. So now let's actually go and test them out and play them. So I'll click on initiate launch. Over here we have the rocket ship where I can shoot lasers. And as you can see, they can successfully break the rocks over here, which does look very good. And also the in-game mechanics do feel very smooth, if I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't feel any lag, I don't feel like the keys are delayed, and I just lost. But now, let's go over to Lovable and also play this game as well. So I will simply come over here and click on start game. And I cannot actually see anything as you can see over here. We we'll literally see nothing. The game hasn't started yet, there probably is a problem with the code. So let me come over here and probe Lovable to fix it. Hey, I don't see anything right now in my interface. So make sure you take a look at the code, why that happens and you actually go ahead and fix it. And then I'll simply come over here and send over this message. Now let's wait a bit till Lovable figures out what is wrong with the code so we can then go and make the necessary changes. And it just said that it found the issue and it is currently fixing it right now. A boom, it just said that it completely fixed the issue. So let me come over here and click on start game again. And this time we can actually see our ship over here. Well, it doesn't really look that much like a ship. 
I would say the in-game mechanics are pretty smooth as well. It's just the fact that the ship doesn't really look like a ship and the rocks don't really look like rocks. But overall, it's a good experience. You can definitely play this game and be just fine. As you can see over here, I also have my score. But yeah, I would say overall, the games that are generated were pretty similar. But the difference is Gemini 3 just managed to create it with one simple prompt. Well, Lovable needed two prompts because there was an initial issue. And if I'm gonna be honest, Gemini's game looks a little bit more in theme with exactly what we wanted. But there definitely isn't a very big difference. Now, I personally don't think there was a very big difference between the two games that were created. So what I'm going to do for this test is I'm going to make it a tie. And I'm going to say that both created a very similar game. Maybe you prefer the game that Lovable created. Maybe the game that Gemini created. It's honestly completely up to your taste. While still giving a very slight edge to Gemini. Simply because it just managed to create it with one prompt. And not two prompts like Lovable did. So this is the final ranking. And I think it is pretty obvious. That Gemini is by far the better app builder. And is the app that I will be heavily using from now on. In order to build any custom app that I want. Now if you want access to all the prompts that I use for my tests. You can click the second link in my description. And come and join my free school community. Where I will have all of these prompts inside the access tab in my classroom. And if you want help with monetizing your AI skills. And actually start making money with them. You can click the top link in my description and come and join my paid school community in which I show you how you can make money with AI by selling custom apps. And the best part is that once you join the community, I guarantee you your first high paying customer or I give you all of your money back guaranteed. Since my methods have worked for multiple other people that have already joined the community and I'm also certain that they're going to work for you as well. So make sure you click the top link in my description and you come and join my AI SaaS Builders community. And I will be waiting to help you get your first high paying client inside. But also YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this video in which I show you how you can build AI voice agents with Gemini 3. So make sure you go watch that next and I will see you over there.